Hello my friends. Today we are going to look at how to install Cube on VMware Workstation. Cube means Cisco Unified Border Element. So that means if you want to configure Voice Gateway, so you can use this setup to configure the Voice Gateway and you can use this as your home lab. For the VMware Workstation, you can use apart from VMware workstation VMware player also so let's look at what are the things we need to actually do this test first you need Cisco CSR 1000 V image that version should be 3.150 above version in the description I, I will put the link so you can download the image from that link and the VMware workstation or you need VMware player and the minimum RAM of the laptop or your PC should be 8 GB because we are going to reserve 4 GB for the router image so let's look at how we install this cloud service router in the VMware first you need to go to the VMware workstation today I have VMware workstation pro so in here click create new virtual machine so then select the custom and you can click next so we we'll keep this as default click next you can add the image later if you want you can add it now so I will add it later and click next then you need to select Linux and in the Linux you can select the other Linux type so in here I am selecting Linux 3.x other kernel type and click next so in here you can uh, enter the virtual machine name here I am going to select cube as my virtual machine name if you want to change the installation location you can change it from here and then click next so here you can select the number of processors and cores here I'm going to select two process and one core and you can click next if you want you can keep this as one if you have many resources you can select it as a two or more than two and click next for the RAM allocation you need to select minimum 4 GB of RAM so that's why I told you we need minimum of 8 GB RAM if you want you can bit increase apart from the 4 GB so you can allocate 4 GB or max maximum RAM which you can allocate and click next here you don't need to change anything click next and this is also default click next click next again and here you can select actually we are creating new virtual disk so we are not going to change this one click next here this is the disk allocation that means hard drive allocation I think 8 GB is enough if you want you can increase the value as 10 GB or um, more than 8 GB if it is up to you actually so I will allocate 10 GB and click next so this is the disk file name you don't need to change click next now finish so if you want to customize the hardware you can do it from here so actually I will finish this one now what happened the VM is created so before start the VM we need to select the image file and we need to do some changes so I will go to edit virtual machine and here we don't need sound card I will remove this one and this is a router so actually we need separate network interfaces in here this has only one network interface so I am going to add few more network interfaces here so before I am adding you need to do small change so for that you need to close this one and you need to go edit 
virtual network editor so once it is come up you can click change setting click yes now you can edit the setting here i will add some few more adapters add network and click ok then it will assign new adapter if you want to change the dhcp setting you can do it from here if you want to change ip subnet so anything you can do it from here and click ok and i will add another one so these are automatically assigned these ip ranges you can change so now i have two adapters and the default one is this one now i have three adapters if you want you can add another adapter likewise you can add many adapters in here then you can apply you need to wait after that you can click ok so what we did is we added some adapters external adapters to the virtual machine environment so from that virtual machine environment we are going to apply these adapters to the our router in here you can click add and you can add the network adapter so in the adapter creation window i have created vmnet 2 and 3 here i am going to add vmnet 2 and the vmnet 3 vmnet 3 these are the adapters which i have created earlier so for these two i am going to generate the mac address and click ok for the adapter 2 also click advance and generate press ok now we have three adapters to our router which means there are three adapters three network interfaces in our router these are giga ethernet adapters then you can click ok before click the ok you need to select the ios file so my ios file in the desktop so i will browse and I will go to the desktop inside the CSR folder. Here I have the CSR 1000V image. So I will select this and click OK. Now we have done the pre request everything, pre request this. So you can power on the virtual machine. So I will power on this. You can click OK. Now here you need to press key. So, no need to change, you can select enter game. So, this will take bit time. So, you need to wait. Don't press anything, don't do any changes. Keep it going. Be patient and wait until it's come up to the next stage. So, we'll wait. So, you can see that three adapters now added and cd-rom drive hard drive everything is there so one adapter is that and other two are host only adapters you can customize as you want So we need to wait. In this setup, you will come up another window to press enter. So it's better if you can click inside the window. So you can see the hand icon, you can click inside the window. So now you are on the cube setup. So you, this is take big time. You need to wait you can see now the partition is creating and the installation process is started now what happened is that image is being copied that means it is being installed to the hard drive which we have created actually now the router image is installing to our VM 
so you need to wait you can see there are some extractions some OVA interlacing grub so process is going on so you can see the image file this copying or boot flash likewise you can see the installation process is completing Here also we need to wait so if you have uh, 8 GB or more than red so this process will uh, actually this process will going faster because I have allocated near 5 GB RAM so if you can allocate more than that so you can so now you have to press enter and here also you have to press enter okay so we are about to finish there are a few more steps to finish you can see it is a package.conf it is booting from that now the installation finished now it is rebooting actually it is booting from the package.conf that installed conf file so in this cube setup you can use any voice command you can uh, start the zip service here and you can create zip trunk from this one and call manager you can configure dial peers voice translation rules anything related to the voice configuration you can do it from here so once you want to install the home lab setup home environments i think this is ideal so easily you can run this from your laptop desktop or any uh, any with the minimum requirement i think we need to wait actually the installation process will take a bit time but once you install and uh, finish then you can turn off this router no? so once that time you are powering on this it will not take this much of time actually so you can see we are about to finish okay that error will come up so you don't need to think about that so you can simply press ok and ignore the error so it is not affected to our router or our configuration or our commands or anything so I will go inside So you can see in the description the version and the details here you can see memory allocation hard drive space this kind of details you can see here okay so i think we have finished this so there are a few more things so you can just press enter and you can see once you newly power on the router you can see this dialog box you can can type no and press enter now again you have to wait few more seconds
okay just wait yeah now it is coming up you can see some giga ethernet interfaces change the status to down that means our interface allocation is success you can press enter okay now the router is come up enable first i will show you interface brief how many interfaces you can see there are three interfaces which we have allocated in here if you want to change these interfaces you can simply go here and go to settings and here you can add new interface there are three interfaces we already added if you want you can add another interface so you can go to the interface and uh, con t sorry interface giga ethernet one you can put some ip address likewise you can do anything in here so i will show you some commands are working voice service voip so you can press question mark so these kind of commands working so every voice commands you can enter so this is working fine so you can try it i will upload the image with the url you can download it so if you have any queries any doubt please comment on the comment section so thanks for watching hope this is helpful for you helpful you to learn something new so thank you very much for being with me thank you very much thank you